you know, although they, they have created an artificial tongue that uh, really? that can uh, spot whiskey and give spot fake whiskey. Wow. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what where the market's going to go with this artificial tongue. That's what I was going to say. If they're making artificial tongues, I'm saying they're not really necessarily going to use them. I don't think whiskey is their market, but, you know, <laughs> just saying. What are, you, what are you guys saying? Welcome back to the Fred Minnick Show. I'm Fred Minnick. Uh, it's brought to you by the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. And I think somebody needs a whiskey. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Jeez, I sure do. My goodness. I thought it was water, but we're here, so you I know exactly I'm, what I need. I'm, um, I'm not a doctor, but they did use to prescribe whiskey for people with coughs. I feel sick. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> I have something for you. So I, I'm, I'm here with, with Green Sky, a great uh, uh, bluegrass band. You guys rocked it today. Or if you're gonna rocking it soon. We are yet to rock. You're yet to rock. But I if this is it, but if this isn't live, we can pretend like we already rocked because we're going to. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you rock all the time. When are you on the stage? Uh soonish. Five five twenty. Five twenty. Alright, so I can't get you too liquored up. But uh, now nah, we'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> we practice. We're good, yeah. So what you guys do you guys drink on the road a lot? <laughs> Do you drink whiskey on the road a lot? No. <laughs> Gosh, man. Of course not. No, no. Uh, yes. Yes. The answer is yes. <laughs> but you're, you know, um, you walked in and you said, you wrote that book? Yeah, I have that book. And then, and I'm like, yeah, it's, I did. So that's pretty cool. It's, it's, uh, I, I, I love it when someone comes to the set and they're already a whiskey fan and, I don't, and I'm not trying to convince them. To leave vodka or beer or some kind of other, mm. some other kind of bad. We we haven't met a lot of liquor we don't like. We're real nice when it comes to like, you know, okay. o- open arms for all types and colors nice. of liquor. Nice. Only people too. People also. Yes. <laughs> okay, everybody. I'm just saying. Um, we we primarily it's uh it's bourbon and tequila for us, both. Um, Sometimes all at once. Yes. Yeah, I mean, not not like the dub, 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 dub. <laughs> I would. <laughs> All right, so yeah, never, yeah. <laughs> so we're, we're we, I've got some experienced bourbon drinkers here. Tell me what you like. Bourbon. Any uh, any just any brand? Um, Is there you have a favorite brand or you have a favorite flavor profile? Um, I like rye whiskeys a lot, so drier. All right. A little less. Pour, pour you yourself drink, a little bit of that a lot right of there. Rye. You drink a lot Kentucky of Owl. Yeah. Pour a little bit of that right there. I got a buddy who shares his pappy and with then me every now and then. Throw me that the the Wilderness Trail. Don't don't pour it for him. What? What about me? We're getting that for you. So this is uh, this is a new brand to the market. This is because uh, you you said bourbon. You just yeah, said I'm straight. Yeah. I'm also a rye guy. So um, he's going to do the rye. This is a new. Uh, this I'm, is a new bourbon to the market. I'm interested. In, I'm interested in unique experiences in yeah. general. This says batch number 01 on it. Yeah, that's the first uh, first rye. Uh, I actually scored that pretty highly when uh, when that came out. I'm gonna have to it, try that also. It, it's quite tasty. Yeah, you. We're, we're gonna share. This is gonna be like a commun- uh, communal table, where we're our, we're just gonna Excellent. like share. So I want to get your thoughts here. Taste taste the uh, taste the wilderness trail. Let's see what I want to drink. Give me the rum right there in the front, the red one. Yeah. Mmm. That's really smooth. That is a. Uh, see, I get nervous. I, <clears throat> I get nervous, like when I'm ta- when I'm talking to people that are really experienced wine drinkers, and I'm talking to them about wine. I'm always concerned that I'm going to say it. You know, like, <laughs> I say what I think. I could be totally wrong in there. You know. Anyway. Yeah, fuck those guys. All right, cool. You know, here's the thing. I was talking about you. (laughs) Yeah. I mean, seriously. (laughs) Fuck fuck me. You know? I mean, seriously, if if I ever, like, uh, I get this a lot. People are, like, they don't want to, you know, they're afraid to give me their tasting notes or whatever. I'm like, I don't have your palate. You taste what you taste. I taste what I taste. That's the thing. It's like, you know, although they, they have created an artificial tongue, that uh, really? that can uh, spot whiskey and give 
spot fake whiskey. Wow. And I'm like, I don't know if that's what where the market's going to go with this artificial tongue. That's what I was going to say. If they're making artificial tongues, I'm saying they're not really necessarily going to use them. I don't think whiskey is their market, but, you know, <laughs> just saying. What are, you, what are you guys saying? Yeah, what, what's your, what's your <laughs> what thought? Is, what's, what do you think the tongue would be used for? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what would it taste? Uh, it would taste... I believe Tom Robbins called it a peach fish. Yes. <laughs> oh. All right, so you like you like this uh, this Wilderness Trail bourbon. Mm-hmm. It's good. What, it tastes strong. Did you taste that too? Mm-hmm, I did. All right, let's do the rye. I thought it was high proof right away. Really? Did yeah. you taste the rye? I did not taste the rye yet. Ooh, I like that. A little caramely. Now, real caramely. That and doesn't taste like any rye I've ever had. It's a little yeah. sweeter than a normal rye, yeah. almost. Yeah, if you're okay with drinking oh. after me, yeah, taste that. I'm not scared. Because you're, you're, what you're about to taste is neither bourbon nor rye. I like that. That is, that is uh, Richland rum. So that is a, a is a rum made out wow. of Georgia, in the same fashion that they would make bourbon. So they put it in a new charred oak barrel. Wow. So tell me, what was your first drink? You've tricked us. <laughs> um, uh, that was it. My first. That was my yeah. first drink today. Of the day. <laughs> uh, my first drink. Yeah, first drink uh, ever. F- first drink was. Um, well, first thing I really, the, I'm, I couldn't tell you the real thing, but the, the, the first. I remember that I would steal. Um, from my my parents' liquor cabinet, do that thing where you, where you take some and you pour a little bit. I didn't know that. Uh, bourbon and gin and everything and vodka don't go together so I'd pour all, take a little bit of each of these things and pour them into a bottle so because so that way they couldn't tell that I had taken any you know just a little bit from each wouldn't show as something got stolen so I'd make these essentially Long Island iced teas that were the worst thing you could ever have in your life made of like I you know I knew I knew nothing and it, boy was it gross um, you would have think it would have you would have thought it would turn me off of drinking but it, it didn't well, so it made you strong. Like a dedica- yeah. <laughs> you made you dedicated. There was like a dedication to the craft there. Like when you it taste it, you and you're stronger. like, "Man, this is terrible," <laughs> but I can do it. Get like willpower. Oh, this is so bad. I'll do it. Yeah. I'll do it. Yeah, I knew there was a reason why people were drinking. I used to do a similar thing. I think my first drink was vodka with a kid that was like two years younger than me. And you don't drink vodka anymore. It's mm, awesome. A little bit, occasionally in like a fruity cocktail or something. So I but set I set him up here to like hate on vodka. I mean, I hate yeah. vodka. Vodka yeah. is the devil. It's boring. I don't I like feel it. like it's the last stand. It's it just is pure alcohol, no flavor. That's it. It's no flavor. But then I started stealing sambuca from my parents' liquor cabinet. Mm. It was clear, and I thought that was like I'm like it's clear. It must be the same thing, but mm. it's not. I mixed it with like OJ and soda and stuff. It was gross. Well, I got the sign that I gotta wrap this fucking thing up. Question for you, real quick. What is, what is your favorite? What is your favorite bourbon in this room while we're here? Uh, that's I, you, in, I mean, favorite's a big word, but at this that's very in moment. This room. Um, I'd have to go by like my rating system. Sure. And I. I hope it's that clear bottle with the typed label <laughs> the little there's, tiny one there's there's some more in the other room that sure. i think I, I have rated higher hand me the booker's box oh i've had this one it's it's not i no, it's not booker's <laughs> no, yeah. oh, the box oh. i mean i've got a I'm, bunch I'm, of i don't mean to throw you i don't here. mean to throw you on it on the spot here but oh, listen. let's let's see let's see what makes you happy that never happens what makes me happy i don't know what makes me happy yeah good luck out there man yeah <laughs> And the follow-up to the question is, may I try some of it? There we go. That's it. That's my favorite bourbon in this room. I love that it's in a small bottle with a white label. Oh, I've had this before. Well, it's a it's a I'm press listening. sample. So like, like you all send. Uh, yeah, yeah. So like you all send press samples or press to the to your yeah. uh, to music music critics. I get sent uh, whiskey samples. Well, I'm in the wrong we business. Just, we can just share that one too. Yeah. Well, yeah. Mm. I'll have a little bit. We have a 16 hour drive in our bus That's tonight. Good. We have a 16 hour drive in the bus tonight. So this is a good start. Do you have to a 16 hour drive in the bus tonight? Mm hmm. That's a long fucking drive. We have a 16 hour drive. <laughs> it is. It's a long drive. So whiskey shall That's help. A, Cheers That's to that. That's the name of a song, actually. Yeah. Cheers. Well, thanks for joining the thanks com- so much. coming on the Fred Minnick show. And uh, I hope to I can break away and go watch you guys play. Hope so too, man. At Bourbon and Beyond. Thanks. Cheers. Thanks so Cheers. much for having us. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Cheers.